Philippines City want to distribute rice to Lake Danao Grilla villagers. A city care recipient agrees to donate his deceased son's cornea to help other patients. Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Sibir Su. Thank you for joining us. In the Philippines, Barakay Lake Danao was devastated by the earthquake three years ago. In February of last year, city volunteers had built a guerrilla village for the affected residents. However, due to the epidemic, many villagers have lost their jobs and are facing financial difficulties. Fortunately, city volunteers have come again to distribute rice and spices. Let's take a look. Leading a harsh life, the villager cannot hold back her tears when describing her situation. Due to the epidemic, my husband has lost his job. Our life is really harsh. We have finished eating our rice and there is little spices left. Three years ago, the villagers' homes were destroyed by an earthquake. Since Great Love Village was completed in February last year, they were about to start a new chapter of their lives. However, they are impacted by the epidemic, so the volunteers have continued to care for them. Relief distribution is like that now. Although the weather was not very ideal, we still successfully distributed all the supplies. The aid recipients are very happy. Relief distribution, ang mga tao very happy. After receiving the supplies, the villager immediately cooks a meal. She feeds her child the first scoop of rice. Now I can cook food for my child and family because I have spices and rice. I am very grateful for Chi's help. So the volunteers have distributed rice and spices to 75 families, relieving their financial burdens. In Dongguan City in China, 71-year-old CDK recipient He Shunti suffers from an eye disease caused near blindness. City volunteers visit her every month. They have also invited six volunteers to clean her home. Although Granny He cannot see the visible actions, she felt the volunteers' sincere love and care. <laughs> He Shun Di Granny has been blind for many years. She has two kids. One lives outside and one stays at home without working. The one that stays at home doesn't clean at all. And due to Granny's blindness, she also couldn't clean. This is why her home is now filled with trash and the smells begin to rise. Also cockroaches begin to infest. We want to help Granny He. This is why we're here today to clean. We went through the entire house and collected old items that Granny He had been using for years. We took those items out under the beds and tables. We also cleaned the waste and trash in the meantime. If you see many rats, put vinegar with rice, the rats will not come anymore. When we see a cleaner home and we carry trash bags, we're not carrying trash but cleansing our trashes in our heart, letting our minds see the pure land, seeing ourselves in reflection. Organized by Tsuji, the Happy Reading Book Fair, which gathered more than 60 publishers, continues to tour throughout Taiwan. The second night-day fair was held in Taoyuan Jing Si Hall, inviting celebrities to share their joy through reading.
If there is no book in a home, it is like a room without windows. There is still a difference in literacy development between reading through books and mobile screen. The Happy Reading Book Fair was hosted in Taoyuan Jinxu Hall, and celebrities were invited to share the joy of reading. Reading is a basis of national literacy. Although there are many new media now, the knowledge in books is still more systematic, complete, and specific. With more than 60 publishers were gathered and 800 good books were selected, it is expected that the charm of books can touch people's hearts. When I go back, I'll invite the residents to come here to join. Otherwise, many kids now often play with their cell phones. The situation is quite serious. Books always bear positive energy. Chi Chi has donated care packages to local governments for onward passing to the people in quarantine before. The Jin Shi aphorisms inside has received widespread response. They have provided feedback to us saying that they were actually quite frustrated because of the epidemic and the uncertainty of the society. But after reading Jinxi aphorisms, which contain many different kinds of spiritual encouragement, they felt more at ease. In the post-epidemic era, it is better to start reading to find ways of comfort. Jinxi aphorisms have been published for 30 years and have influenced countless people. Ciji Nanto Liaison Office has held a Jinxi concert, inviting school principal, singer, and volunteers to share their favorite Jinxi aphorisms. Let's join them there. The concert begins with the young volunteers singing. Jinxi aphorisms have been published for 30 years, and many people took a turn in life because of the wise words. You smoke, gambled, and drank a lot of alcohol. You've learned them all. So the volunteer Lai Jingchong was immature when he was young. When 921 earthquake struck, he witnessed volunteers delivering blankets to affected residents and asked himself, how can there be such a group of people? There's a group of people who carry out acts of compassion, touching people. They thank the people, they help. The aid recipients also say thank you. The atmosphere is very harmonious. High school principal Lin Jiaru also shares her realization. She was once too self-centered. To a beautiful heart, everything appears beautiful. With a beautiful heart, everything seems right. If the heart is not beautiful, one would despise everything. Performing artist Huang Yaming has found this Jinxi aphorism to be very practical. Be mindful when one talks, have a broad mind while listening, be content and an embracing person, then one won't have worries. Every person sharing is a touching story. It is hoped that everyone will find a Jinxi aphorism that can guide him in his life. Due to the pandemic, Master Zheng Yun's planned tour around the island has been changed to a video conference. Recently, around 20 city volunteers in Xindian Wenshan's district visited the Jinxi boat to accompany Master Zheng Yun on a video call to the Ankang Recycling Education Station. Let's take a look. Through a video call, Volunteers formed two lines to welcome Master Zheng Yan to the Ankang Recycling Station. Some volunteers recycled advertising banners to give them a new life. I just used this clothes to make an eco-friendly bag. This is for my Ciji brothers and sisters to use while recycling. I'm feeling very healthy now. Thank you, Master Zheng Yan. It is very simple to love our earth. <laughs> Old but gold. Some comedic volunteers shared their stories on how recycling stations changed their lives. I have quit drinking and play mahjong, and after doing so, I started arguing with my wife. Now we are in a great relationship.
I've smoked for 50 years, but on the third year of coming to this recycling station, I've quit smoking. Taking care of hundreds of elders, the long-term care center is in its third year. The love takes volunteers across mountains into Pingxi, giving care to people in need. If an elder stays in a city hospital, we'll go there and care for the person. Afterwards, we'll also go to the elder's house to further understand his health and living conditions. <laughs> Around 20 volunteers shared their exciting stories and used this video conference to encourage fellow Tsuji volunteers to keep going along the Dharma path and doing good deeds. In Foshan City, Guangdong, China, there's a sanitation worker who had a son with cleft lip. City volunteers started to care for this family three years ago, providing subsidies for medical expenses and companionship. However, in early July, the son fell into a pool and passed away. His father decided to donate his son's cornea to help other patients regain their vision. Seven-year-old Xiao Kun fell into a pool in July and passed away. I'm willing to donate my son's organ so the recipient may restore his eyesight. This single father has decided to donate his child's cornea. My young kun has passed away. I donate his organ so the organ recipient will be able to see again. When holding Xiao Kun's funeral, volunteers have encouraged Xiao Kun's father to serve vegetarian food. He agreed and only used cookies, candies, fruits and flowers at the funeral service to seek Xiao Kun off. Although Xiao Kun has left, volunteers will continue to accompany the family. City volunteers started to care for Xiao Kun's family three years ago. When Xiao Kun, who had cleft lip, went to the hospital for treatment or surgeries, volunteers always accompanied him. I remember that when I accompanied Xiao Kun to undergo a checkup at a hospital in Guangzhou, he had to prick his finger to have a blood test. But because Xiao Kun was malnutritioned, after pricking fingers, blood would not come out. He had to draw his blood from the vein to have the blood test. But then, my heart went out to him, this poor child. <laughs> Although this child has suffered much during his lifetime, he can now donate his organ and help other people regain their vision. According to Taiwan's Dementia Association survey, there are over 280,000 people in the country that suffer from dementia. Daling Tsuji Hospital and Jai Health Bureau are working together to launch a program to protect those with dementia. The program begins in Minshong Township, which includes post carriers and temple activities. <laughs> On this night, the rain lets up as the Friends of Dementia Community Plan begins in Jiayi's Da Qi Town of Mingxiong Township. 
Taiwan has many patients suffering from dementia, and through hospitals, community temples, and mail carriers, we can develop a system to help those patients. We hope this program can be spread to other communities, and thus more people can join in to safeguard those with dementia and their family members. This traditional Taiwanese opera has incorporated elements about dementia into the storyline, which helps to entertain the audience as well as educate. Incorporating dementia into the temple activity culture as well as educating the mail carriers is very helpful for the dementia patient. This way, this program can continue to move forward in other communities. Jiayi's Shangfu Post Office is the first organization to join the network for dementia friends. As post couriers often visit the community, they are the perfect candidate to safeguard and report. Dalin Ziji Hospital is helping us to train for Dementia Friends Network, and by doing this, the network becomes also a seed for post carriers. The four steps to help dementia patients in the wild are first, observe anything strange, ask for their address, think of ways to make them stay, and call for the police to help. This network also includes the community pharmacy, breakfast vendors and such, as this helps to provide immediate care and assistance when these dementia patients need help. August 12 is Mother's Day in Thailand. A common practice is to use jasmine flowers to represent pure motherly love. Chiang Mai Tzu School gathered outstanding mothers from each class. They invited children to serve tea and kanji to express their love. The Chiang Mai Tziji School celebrated Mother's Day with students giving mothers a jasmine flower pin, which represents the purity of a mother's love. The school follows this day because it allows students to express their gratefulness to their parents and benefactors. Using actions through express love, giving a cup of tea and bowl of kanji to mothers, the warmth kindles their hearts. I'm thankful to Ching Mai Tsuji School for making my child braver. The event today is very meaningful, teaching my daughter proper morality and humanity, letting her become a great person in the future. Excellent mothers from each classroom gather to receive a certificate from the school's principal. Their certificate is a proof and thanks for their hard work to nourish the next generation. In Kaohsiung, a stem cell registry blood drive gained extra support from a recycling company who helped promote the event. A father even brought his two children on Father's Day, showing them what a good father really is. Here's more. To gain more exposure for a stem cell donation blood test registration activity, Zhiji volunteers made a public announcement, even held a big red cloth banner on the street. And this red banner also appeared at a private recycling station. The company is operated by two brothers. They not only helped promote the event, but also rolled up their sleeves to register in person. Because of my brother, I learned about this, and I think that the activity is very good, and it can help more people. We hung the cloth banner so that more people can know about it. After this brother gave blood, he is looking forward to finding a match. That feeling is great. I look forward to being able to match out with someone soon. This blood registration drive is giving blood cancer patients a glimmer of hope. Like this lady who had been registered for 17 years finally found a successful match. She appeared at the venue and is the best spokesperson for this donation activity. I hope a lot of young men and women who feel that they are very healthy just hurry up and do this. This is very meaningful. In addition, a young father came here with a child on his back and one in his hand. Volunteers assisted him in taking care of his children so he could draw blood and complete the registration process. This was the best Father's Day activity. Today is also Father's Day. I hope to give my two children a different feeling and experience. I also hope they can follow me and come here to help those in need in the future. Not only does this blood registration drive help others, but a loving father sets a good example for his children to follow. There's a stem cell registry blood drive event held at Haizhong Jing Si Hall. Many young people participated, hoping to save lives. Stem cell transplant recipients also showed up to share their gratitude. Among them is the high school sophomore, Sen Li Qian. She suffered from newborn leukemia, and at the age of 10 months old, she received a transplant of stem cells. Now she's doing well and healthy, and is very grateful to her donor. 
The stem cell registry blood drive has a lot of processes. In order to avoid mistakes, every participant is accompanied by volunteers. <laughs> Sophomore Shen Li Qian was born with leukemia, but gladly there is a suitable donor for her. I'm glad because there is a donor who gave me his marrow. I'm very thankful. Although some side sickness occurred through the process, now she's doing fine. We are very happy. To the patients and their respective parents, the existence of a suitable donor is a lifeline. Participants at the event are all hoping to save someone. The sisters, under the company of their father, join in on the blood drive event, hoping to become a lifesaver for someone in the future. During the epidemic, the Cixi International School in Johor Bahru was not able to hold classes. Ci Shaos did not simply stay home. They created temporary home studios to host online broadcasts, teaching people how to cook delicious vegetarian dishes. They hope to attract people between the ages of 12 and 20 and inspire people to change their eating habits. <laughs> In Joho, Peru, Malaysia, this home was transformed into a studio for a YouTuber to live stream online cooking classes. I can share my recipes for those of you who have not succeeded in becoming a vegetarian. I want to welcome my friends to become vegetarian so we can do our part to save our planet. The Zi Shaos play a role of host and chef as Zi volunteers are shooting behind the scenes. Six live broadcasts in three months will share this charming vegetarian food with some 250 people online. Now a lot of young people can use this medium of social media. Live streaming is the most direct method, as these live broadcasts can allow them to express their ideas to as many people as possible. This is a very good one as this knowledge can be cultivated since childhood and shared with more people, so this is a very meaningful activity for me. The success of the one-hour live broadcast is based upon countless dress rehearsals behind the scenes. My own goal is to encourage more teenagers or to persuade those of any age and social class to become vegetarian. By using very simple ingredients, we can create some delicious dishes. I want to make everyone feel that this colorful vegetarian food is also delicious. I hope everyone can eat more vegetarian food and less meat to protect the planet. In Canada, city volunteers on the East Coast have held a vegetarian picnic event. Through video conferencing, participants in North Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal share benefits of vegetarianism. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.